Hello West Ham Fan TV, thank you very much for having us on. My name's Lee, I, I'm the main presenter here on Newcastle Fans TV and we're going to be just be talking is about, well, I guess a uh, Newcastle perspective of uh, our, in our terms, the biggest game without a shadow of a doubt for us this season down at the London Stadium facing news lot. Now, our season to date has been um, a roller coaster. would you say? We started off uh, them two defeats earlier on the season and went on a great little run, three in the bounce. We're sitting in one, uh, one position, we're sitting in fourth, uh, which was fantastic. But, you know, um, our recent run, we've only won something like one out of 13 games and we've lost, you know, uh, we're on a horrible run. We've lost eight out of the last nine. We are struggling big time to pick up, but pick up points but the last two results um, were very very unfortunate um, against Everton we bossed Everton Everton somehow won that game through a mistake by Carl Dolo and more recently we played against Arsenal and Arsenal in all fairness including the pundits out there said that Arsenal didn't deserve the three points Newcastle should have got something from that game but it's just that final lack of quality that we're missing and we're really relying on our takeover happening a lot of fans are putting heavily on because this squad needs massive investment but you know we are sitting in the relegation zone but you know it's not all doom and gloom at the minute we're only three points off 12th place that's how tight it is from 12th downwards as well so anybody else is in the dogfight from 12th downwards in our terms and I think Rafa will obviously he was been linked to West Ham numerous of times over the last couple of years so and he almost joined us didn't he but how, how I think how we will set up is we'll play a 4-2-3-1 system, 4-2-3-1. And I think, you know, Jamal Asels' case, he, since he's come back from injury, will look so much more solid. There's less mistakes happening. And I think we'll try and hit you on the count. And I think you will probably have a lot more possession, probably 60-40. I'm going to have a prediction there. But I think if we can hit you on the wings, I think that's where we're going to try and target Zabaleta, get Christian Atsu come in and get him starting on the left. And Matt Ritchie as well, who... Um, you know, it was much improved when he come off the bench because he's fighting for his place and it seems to vitalise him a little bit more. Up front, you probably see Dwight Gale, Perez in the 10. But, you know, after this game, we've got Manchester City. So our hopes on this game is massively high. Newcastle are expected to pick something up from this game just from looking at the last two results and displays because we've only been narrowly defeated by two bigger sides than us. And, you know, after this, as a touch upon Man City's huge, which is a bonus game, Newcastle and fans are expecting Newcastle to pump up some action here and get something from this game and I do think that Newcastle will take something from the game whether it's a draw whether to win who knows I guess we'll probably know more on Friday when Rafa has his press conference so it is a huge game it's more bigger for us than it is for you because I think since David Moyes has come in you know a lot of years didn't really weren't too keen on him he seems to galvanise us a lot of a bit more and a bit more and he's going up the table but if we can get something you know, it will, it will pull us up probably 13th, 14th, 15th in the league and, you know, stop the negativity because there's negativity amongst even some of our own fans is really poor at the moment. And we've got a tiny bit of small section shouting what, wanting Rafa out, which is absolutely mental. It's crazy. Um, but they're getting a lot of that, the limelight, so to speak, the 15 minutes of fame because they're the ones shouting out Rafa out and they don't understand the whole carry-on of Mike Ashley. Uh, it's difficult. It is difficult being a Toon fan at the moment. But we're promoted side and we've got an awful side and we haven't <laughs> barely spent any money. But I think it'll be a score draw. Um, I think it's going to be 1-1, 2-2, uh, one, one, two, two, who knows. Uh, we'll be covering the game all week and, and have reaction over here on Newcastle Fan Series. So if you are an Irons fan, pop over. Uh, a little bit about us, dead quickly before we finish up. There's four presenters here. Uh, we're also part of Ball Street and Network ourselves, a bit like you guys, West Ham Fan TV. Um, and we do match previews, podcast reviews, anything what you would expect a fan's channels to do, way games, you name it. Uh, pop on over. Let us know what you think as well. And thank you very much, West Ham Fan TV, uh, for having us. And good luck for the rest of the season after this game, of course. See you. Bye-bye.